the goal of the left here is to treat everything that they do as a response to something on the right, which is, of course, quite insane. But when you see it through their, their view, you actually see what they're doing with kids. So the idea is that if you don't teach kids, if you don't indoctrinate kids about LGBTQ identity, if you don't indoctrinate kids and the idea that men can be women and women can be men and that boys have two daddies and all of this kind of stuff, if you don't indoctrinate kids, all you're doing is you're leaving it to the right to indoctrinate their own kids. And you can't allow the right to indoctrinate their own kids. You can't allow culture to indoctrinate kids in the baseline belief that all of human reproduction relies on men and women having babies. You, you're not allowed to, you can't leave it to them. See, people are being indoctrinated in the systems of the past, in the evil systems of the past. And so we have to rip away the kids and we have to re-indoctrinate them in order to even the score. And that, that, that is what the left is basically saying right now. That is their case. Well, all of this sort of culminated for us here at The Daily Wire in us saying, so you'll recall that last week, Disney announced that they had a bunch of woke executives and employees get out there and suggest, again, that it was a great and grand idea to sexually indoctrinate children. And we are going to, again, this is one of their producers, insert a not at all secret gay agenda in children's programming. And we at The Daily Wire were like, fine, if you're going to do that, we'll produce a, some, some content. You guys can, can you as parents, you're not going to have to pre-screen. Right? Stuff that makes you feel safe, leaving your kids in front of the TV. And this prompted, of course, SNL to make fun of us. So first of all, thanks for the compliment, SNL. Second of all, I don't know who does the writing over at SNL, but um, uh, they, they need better writers. So here was SNL trying to go after us here at The Daily Wire for pointing out that you should actually be able to watch children's television without learning that cartoon animals are demisexual. The conservative media organization, The Daily Wire, said they'll spend $100 million to create children's programming to counter woke media companies. Programs will include Clifford the Big Straight Dog, <laughs> Encanto, but in English, <laughs> and One Fish, Two Fish, That's How Many Fish Genders There Are. Okay, so to be frank, honestly, I would 100% create a book called One Fish, Two Fish, That's How Many Fish Genders There Are. <laughs> that, we, we would do that here at Daily Wire, probably. As far as Clifford the Big Straight Dog, the only reason that we would produce Clifford the Big Straight Dog is because you guys insist on reading kindergartners. Heather has two mommies. Again, we don't want to produce any of those things. We would just like, like Clifford can remain the big red dog that he is, a non-sexual being, which is fine for small children, who again, are non-sexual beings. But the, the left has to declare that we are the bad guys. We're the bad guys for suggesting that maybe kids should just read books that aren't about where people wish to rub their genitals. It is an amazing, amazing thing. And some people on the left are so are so mad about the fact that people on the right are responding to all of this that they are now calling on major corporations to do their work for them. It demonstrates again that when it comes to the left and their supposed populism, they're not populist at all. They don't care about the little guy. They're fine with using the top echelons of our institutional culture in order to cram down their perverse point of view on life. They are imperialists. They are cultural imperialists. They wish to have the top levels of American society the biggest corporations, the most powerful government agencies cram down what they want on you. I've said for a long time, conservatism has to be built round up. It's those little platoons, right? What Edmund Burke called the little platoons, families with family values, which build into communities, which share those values, which build into local communities, which share those values, which eventually build into national communities, which don't share the same sort of values that families do, but share some baseline values with other people across the country. That is how you build a society. What the left does is they impose their viewpoint top down. They crush the little platoons. They crush local communities and states and families. That is their goal. They have to break all bonds. So if they have to use Disney to do that, they will. So all these people who say they hate corporations, they are perfectly happy to use those corporations to get involved in politics so long as the corporations mirror their point of view. So you have Jamel Bowie, who hates corporations, right? He's a Jamel Bowie is a, economically speaking, he's much closer to a socialist. He says, he says, Disney could, somebody tweeted, Disney could destroy DeSantis and everybody down to precinct captain. Okay, first of all, try it. Like seriously, anybody who wants, to, anybody who thinks that Disney can break the Republican Party in the state of Florida, you just try it. Seriously. And Jamel Bowie says, I've been thinking about this as well. The mouse is powerful enough. It could want regime change in, in Florida. It could probably get it. No, it most certainly could not. And most certainly could not. But second of all, I'm just going to point out that all of these people have left suddenly calling for the intervention of woke companies in American politics. Same people like Koch brothers, evil. Elon Musk, super bad. What, but Disney, can you come save us? Please save us, Disney. Also worth pointing out here, weak-kneed Republicans need not apply for leadership in the Republican Party anymore. So the, the new favorite 
in the in the media is Larry Hogan, the Maryland governor, who, of course, is socially left because he's the governor of Maryland. You wouldn't expect anything different. So Larry Hogan is on national TV, and he's going to be the good Republican for the next five minutes. If he would actually win the nomination, he would become bad Republican because they can't allow a Republican to get elected president or anything. So Governor Larry Hogan will be brought out as the sort of good Republican foil, the way that it used to be like John Huntsman, or before that it was John McCain until McCain won the nomination, at which point he became an evil, evil man. So there is this breed in the in these sort of beltway circles who thinks that avoiding the culture wars is the way you win. That's such nonsense. The culture wars are the way you win, not avoiding them, engaging in them. This is the amazing thing about the Trump phenomenon. There's so many people who tried to intellectualize Trump. Trump was just a giant screw you to people who wish to indoctrinate your children in critical race theory and gender studies. That was the basic idea of Trump. They're a bunch of elites. They wish to control your life. They hate you. They think you're an ignoramus. They think, according to Barack Obama, you're a bitter clinger who goes to church. That's that, and, and Donald Trump's like, I don't hate you guys. And people are like, sounds good to me. Well, here's Larry Hogan saying, it's really, well, I don't even understand why there is a Florida bill to prevent sexual indoctrination of children. Yeah, Larry Hogan, you know, take a hike. No, no one wants to hear you. The Santa's is always talking about uh, you know, he was not not demanding that businesses do things, but he was, you know, telling the cruise lines what they had to do. He was telling local schools what they're mandating. And now he's he wants to criticize Disney for expressing, you know, how they feel about that, uh, that bill. I mean, they have every right to it. We have a thing called freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, they can they can come out and say what they think. I think the the bill was kind of absurd uh, and uh, not something that would have happened in our state. That's right. It wouldn't have happened in your state, which is why you're not a national candidate. You can go away. Hey, really? I've been sympathetic to Larry Hogan and some of the ways he's approached issues in Maryland. But if this is the battle inside the Republican Party between people who wish to protect children and people who think it's a nonsense issue and we need to focus on tax rates, take a hike. Seriously, take a hike. I care about tax rates, too. I'm the most free market guy on the right, probably. That doesn't mean that when it comes down to the priority of woke Disney versus your kids, and I'm not going to take the side of your kids because I'm not a moron. If the Republican Party wants to avoid culture war issues, they're going to lose and they should lose. These are 70-30 issues. Honest to God, if Republicans are going to be this out of touch, they deserve to lose. I know what you're thinking. It's time to binge some more Ben Shapiro videos. Well, you are right. You should. But first, like and subscribe. Perfect. I'll see you in the next video.